Welcome back to your Easy Achievers Returnal Impressions. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting through the time loop. Alex. Time loop. Now, you remember, go ahead. Remember Power Rangers Time Force? No, I know. <laughs> I remember I just Dino wanted to bring Force. It I for, people, for people who hear this, they're going to go back and they'll be like, whoa, that's some 90s stuff. Yeah, I, I messed with Dino Force a lot. Mm, I, mm-hmm. I messed with one other one. I remember trying to watch the Ninja one, couldn't get into it. Dino Force. Mm-hmm. Dino Force or Dino Thunder, I think. Sure. <laughs> You could have said, of them. You could have said so, Di- Dino dude, Lettuce. Dude, I would have been like, you're probably so. right. I don't know. Yeah. There's like 20 anyway. of them, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Too much Power Rangers. Yeah. Power Rangers should probably stop now, right? We can all agree. It's still, it's still going. Very good. I read the Power Ranger Justice League comment, comic. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just as nonsense as that sentence was. Sh- yeah. But it was fun. That's funny. Uh, uh, Batman messed with Black Ranger. That was really cool. Anyways... <laughs> We have a video game to talk about. We've been yeah, playing we Returnal. Yes, we have. Alex, mm. how how long and where are you at roughly in the video game? I have played six hours. Okay. Because it's uh, not unspoilery. We're not spoiling a, anything. We're going to yeah, say we're not any spoilers. area. No spoilers. We're, we're going to save our spoilers for our spoiler cast. I will be honest here. If mm-hmm. you've seen a single trailer, even if it's, we told you everything we knew... I yeah. don't think anything would be spoiled. No. Nah, but, yeah. you know, still no spoilers. Yeah. But go ahead. No, yeah. No, there's a way to for you to check your total time mm. in-game. So it's pretty cool. And it tells me the how much time it says. I was at like five and a half, six hours. Um, so, and this game is hard. Mm. <laughs> I've died four times. Okay. And for people who don't know, anytime you die in Returnal, you come back with... Just the way you started, like just, uh, just what, uh, like, pretty much what? How would you say? Just blank, like with nothing. Blank slate. You almost come yeah. with a blank slate. Some things you get to keep. There yeah. are some enhancements that you get to keep that, and they tell you what is permanent and what is a weapon or a, a accessory that you get that you won't necessarily keep. Yeah, but literally, technically, you would literally just start, uh, you know, start over, and the whole environment and map changes, and everything changes. Yes. Which has been rough. This has been rough. You have had some issues. But it's fun. But yeah, you are having a good time, which is yes. important. I yes. am in area two. I've okay. played, I'd say, probably three to four hours. Okay. Probably closer to four hours. I just suck at the game. <laughs> well, you're not by yourself. Everything from pre- for pre-release that I read, mm. everyone is having issues with the game. Dude. Like everyone is having like a difficulty issue, and they're slowly figuring it out. I think I just had a slight one up because I've just played these games before, so mm. I kind of know the flow of the game and things like that. So, yeah, I only died the one time, and uh, mm. I guess spoiler, but like not really. There is like a like cinematic death that you're kind of supposed to die at. So I died yeah. there and that's so far the only time I've died. Yeah. No. Alex. Mm. You've played more than I am. I have, mm-hmm. sorry, but I've seen more than you have, yes. but you've played more and you've actually been able to see how the procedural generation of the game works, mm-hmm. which I think is almost more interesting than just playing where I've been. So yeah, so far you've been in the same kind of area leveling up mm-hmm. and, doing the kind of story things what do you think of that i do enjoy it because every time i've spawned the map has literally changed and there'll be let's say there'll be certain areas a a, like let's say uh, i died i start back and as soon as i go through a door everything is different but like once i start progressing through the new area there'll be another uh, like once i go through a different door it, the that next room is more it, it, it looks similar so like it's just it's pretty much a lot of the same rooms but like they have an algorithm i guess where they jumble up everything right so let's say you have room one here room mm-hmm. two here room three and then when you die it switches to room five one two like like mm-hmm. you'll you'll remember seeing these rooms right. like once like if you die a lot you'll recognize that like I want, I've died, like I said, three, four times and I've been to a bunch of the rooms that I've been. 
but it still gives me new areas where it doesn't feel repetitive and I am enjoying it because even the it's, it feels so good too. It's so fast. It feels great. I think that's the important thing and I, sh- and I feel like we should have even opened with this. Yes. But this feels fantastic. I mean, Dude. I am fluid. When mm-hmm. I make a mistake, I feel like it is a mistake I have made. No, I for sure. made not the video game. There's always that kind of frustration with some video games that when you go to move or you do a specific mm-hmm. a tactic, the game kind of holds you back. This is you have a free flow movement. If you mess something up, it is on you. You didn't time mm-hmm. something correctly. That move that was coming at you maybe was meant to trick you into dodging this way. You get hit by something mm-hmm. else. You know, that I love the mix of almost OG God of War speed, but with like a more. So think of gears I, I, fighting. I, um, so like I it's, think of it's control so just in a faster pace. Yes. Yeah, and like so think of control in a, in like a, you, you know, you move a little quicker, the reload of Gears of War, because they, they do have active reload. Is that what it's called, right? Yeah, active reload is what I call okay. it. Okay. And I, I felt like there was something else that it, it made me, it, it felt like a lot too. Um, I guess because it's, you know, the room, room to room thing, it is very uh, metro-y or like, you know, uh, like, like Metrovania style yeah, type of Yeah, Metrovania, stuff. you get a, a, a power, which then mm-hmm. you realize, oh, I can use this power to go to the things I missed. And then mm-hmm. you go back and backtrack and yeah. open the things. There's a lot of that, which I love personally. Yes, I love yeah. Metroid. I love Van- Castlevania. So, I mean, mm-hmm. bread and butter. Right. This is a roguelite. So for everyone, or roguelike, I think is how it's pronounced. For everyone who does not know that, it is based on a, um, I think I think the original game was called Rogue or Dark Rogue or something like that. Yeah. And essentially, the, the idea is you die over and over again, and you come back with new weapons or a different set of uh, builds in mind that you want to go get. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can play it. But essentially, the goal is to die and also get a little Live. further every time. <laughs> yeah. So you die, which, uh, but which, you get a little further I've next time. And die yeah. a little, get, uh, so, so that's the kind of the genre of the video game third person it's, action it, shooter it's, it's taking quick. a roguelike thriller because it does have a thriller aspects yes uh which i am enjoying because it's, it's cool i want to bring up something that's that's super early on so i feel like it's not a spoiler okay. spoiler warning it's very little but uh there's a aspect to that is a hundred percent inspired by pt if anyone knows what pt is or remembers oh, yeah, what pt sure. is they were like, we love PT, so we're going to put a PT part in this game. Mm-hmm. And it's at the very beginning, so this isn't much of a spoiler, but but something happens. You go you go into this thing, and you, mm-hmm. you essentially... It, I mean, it was like playing the demo again. It was wild mm-hmm. when I did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that yeah, was cool. Yeah, I hope yeah. there's more of that. I don't know much about this game at all. I did not I watch a bunch of trailers. Know, I didn't know anything about this game. Yeah, I know... Uh, everything I know is in that first area of the game. I know... Absolutely nothing else about the game. All I know is literally you crash on an uh, you crash on this place, and there's some time thing happening, and every and you just keep dying, and, and that, that's you got to figure something out, and that's all I know. <laughs> Quickly, mm-hmm. I want to bring up something that very few video games nail: mm-hmm. depth of the world. What I mean by that oh, is for sure there are audio logs in this game. Mm -hmm. all the bioshock they are perfect you play them and you can walk away and you can listen while you're interacting with the world god i'm not unlocking emails to read for like a thousand i'm not getting codex pages i could be shooting something while i'm listening to it it doesn't stop if i do something it it isn't in an area a lot of games do this the 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 audio is in an area so if you you leave you can hear it slowly going for yeah, like what? There's none of that nonsense here. You get yeah. a lot of lore mm-hmm. in these audio logs, and they do it right. They do it the correct way, where you play it, it's playing, and you can go do something else. And, and I don't know why it's so rare for video games to nail this. I really don't know why people just don't do Bioshock audio logs. It's, I don't understand. But it, it's weird that's to what me. I, be, I don't know if you're getting the same feeling, but to me, I like the biome so much in the world that i'm wanting to know more about what's going on 
in this area with all the species and everything, like what these species are versus what's happening with the time loop. Like every, like every now and then, like sometimes like when there's something happens, I'm like, Oh, you know, I'm more intrigued than her now. But then some, I see something and I'm like, but what is that? Is like, is there some history there? I want to know about that. Yeah. So, uh, essentially the planet we land on is Mm -hmm. a planet that people have lived on at some point before. Mm. We don't know if there's existing sentient life here, but we know that at one point there was, I want to know that I want to know what's going on with them. I love their technology. I love the parasites that there's in the game. Again, this is, um, this is very early on. So no spoilers. So there's a parasite that you find it attaches to you and it gives you a buff and debuff. Mm -hmm. And it essentially, uh, and you can have multiple on Mm -hmm. you put, you can set them to do certain things. Like you can pick one up and, and it'll say your dash is 50% faster, but your health gets uh your de- your defense is down by 15 percent, like something mm-hmm. like that there's always a buff and there's always a debuff i love that trade-off that is really fun also there's a little gambling thing in the game <laughs> where it's uh oh for sure what is it if you uh, try, it's if you try to pick it, something up it can either it can it'll it'll fix what you have but it'll hurt you yes from your health. so you have a chance you have either you'll get an upgrade of health or it'll hurt you Mm-hmm. And it's like a fun coin flip, and yep. I, every time I see it, I'm like, let's see, let's see if I get. It. I pick it up every time. And I that's do why I, I think I think that's why I've died so many times. I've never got hurt, but I've, I've, I've only found plenty. I've only found three of them. But I never I so oh, far a thousand so far. I've probably found maybe twenty of them, oh, maybe Jesus. more, and I think half of those have hurt me. Oh God! Yeah, I'm sure, I just I'm keep picking them up because I want I'm because I want, yeah yeah I want the health. So, Alex, hmm. this game is seventy dollars. Yep. Eighty dollars if you want the deluxe edition. Mm. We bought the regular version. Mm-hmm. Is this worth seventy dollars to you? And do you recommend people buy it? Now, it's hard to say because I don't. The thing with people, people keep asking. I, in my opinion, okay. For let me answer the question first. Yes, I do think it's worth it because of what I've played so far. I do. It's too. super fun so far. Again. St- um, I've had four ish hours. Alex has six. So six, I mean, yeah. I could play the last 10 hours of this game and hate it. I doubt that now, will happen. This feels amazing. But now just, people keep asking, how long is this game? That all depends on how good you are at the game. It really is how, how good you are. Literally, he, Elijah, you're farther than me in the story of the game. Mm-hmm. And you've only put like three or four hours in. Mm-hmm. I'm still in the first area. Mm-hmm. And I've and I put six hours in, mm-hmm. so it all depends on how fast you do it. If it, it depends how fast you get used to the mechanic, yeah. mm-hmm. how quickly that you're able to adapt if something goes wrong. I mean, there's so like, much. Like happening. this game could be a ten hour game, but I can probably it's. A, but, I mean, you could you could probably do it eight hours. I can probably do it in twenty hours. And I don't know. I don't know if how many of the achievers use Twitter regularly, but I do. Mm-hmm. And the joke <laughs> between the people who got the game early, mm-hmm. they they were having issues beating it before review before embargo review. yeah so that was kind of a mini joke that was happening uh with everyone who had the game they were like joking like hey i hope i can beat this before the embargo comes because it's kicking me in the teeth so mm-hmm. i'm sure at some point there's gonna be a wall and it's gonna be hard mm-hmm. and if i can't... definitely like yeah if you definitely like things with difficulty like dark souls i mean or like you know or metrovania type of games where it doesn't have a difficulty setting uh, the only thing that I saw that has a difficulty setting is the aim assist, which is hilarious. Yeah, no, uh, this is kind of like if people played Celeste, the they even have a thing in the opening of the game. This is meant to be challenging, is what it is. Yeah, and that's yeah, same exactly. thing happens in Celeste. Now, Celeste is very open with you can change the difficulty. I'm not, I don't mean that part. I just mean it's very open with how difficult it's supposed to be. You cannot mm-hmm. change the difficulty as far as I aware in Returnal. It's no, you cannot. It's hard. I look, I looked. That sucks for um, our um, uh, handicap friends out there. So, yeah. like, if you are handicapped or if you have issues playing certain fast Twitch video games, I didn't see a lot of accessibility settings to make it either easier or uh, and and that kind of sucks because Last of Us kind of like really like made accessibility like a huge thing and with this it doesn't seem like there's yeah because from what i saw i think all i all it showed was uh colorblind 
and uh, maybe some uh, other things, but uh, for like full depth like that, I don't think there was. Yeah, I didn't see anything. I think th- I think maybe the aim assist because it's I think it's on medium right now for me, and that's just it, that's just the default. I could uh, maybe that works. For, maybe let's say if there's a high automatic, if you're shooting like like say up in the air, automatic the bullets like it's like um. What was it called? In Borderlands, it was the girlfriend mode. Or whatever. Yeah, other butts oh, were people did not like that. That was funny yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's. I mean, that's about it. We we're not too deep into it, so we can't really say too much about it. But mm-hmm. I think uh, to answer the, que- the question I asked Alex, I think it's mm-hmm. definitely worth seventy. Yeah, it's with definitely an, worth it. With an asterisk, you have to like difficult games. Mm-hmm. If you like fast paced, I mean, work. I'm when I mean fast. I don't know if I've ever really played a game this fast. I, I, I I'm having trouble really. Celeste was pretty fast, but that's mm-hmm. a platformer that, that has no shooting really in it. I'm trying to think so of a I, game that's similar in fast pace. I played um a little bit of what is that game called? Oh my god, uh, Jesus! It was it was Vanquish. Mm. vanquish is like a like a nonsense game it, it is <laughs> wild it, you play like the, as this armored dude and you're like sliding around and like doing backflips and shooting mm-hmm. people in the face that game's wild i feel like it's fast I think in it's a just, different way though i think imagine just control but like times 100 you're not that that bad uh control no no but i'm saying control is pretty i mean you're pretty slow in control you're kind of well, very I mean, deliberate it, it, like, so it, okay I, you guys well you know how like the walking speed and control there you know the then there's the sprinting the sprinting speed and control is your walking and returnal oh yeah easily yeah. so easily so then it times that by two and then that's your sprinting yeah. in returnal yeah, but yeah. the dashing it's, is super cool you're and, you know, it's around. very it's yeah, awesome it's, it's awesome it's it's really cool i think i think everyone who has any interest in how smart games if you've ever played any of them it's a must buy mm-hmm. if you want a ps5 game like a straight up like this looks incredible oh, to look at. We gotta talk about the, ha- the haptic feedback triggers. Alex, let them know, dude. It, it just feels so good. Like, uh, it's I guess yeah, it's not spoilers because it's just rain. no. I know it's not spoilers. So in the world, of course, there's rain in the world. The controller, uh, with the handy dandy, you know. Oh, you know, there it is, right there. It's five controller. Um, you feel it all around the controller. You feel the you feel the the ticking of the vibration, Which, and it feels like the rain. It's interesting. It's wild. I didn't even think you could do that. It, yeah. It, it if you could put little mini pinpoints around the controller, mm-hmm. literally, it feels like someone's doing like, this on a controller. It's like pretty impressive. I, so far, Astro's Playroom and Returnal have been the two key games that have, have dominated in haptic feedback, yep. uh, like how, how it should feel. Like when I kept hearing haptic feedback, I'm like, that's not going to be fun. These two games are like, okay, it sold me on it. Yeah, Call sure. of Duty's fight is shooting? No. No, no, no. That, that's too tacked on for me. Mm-hmm. I love also um, another thing with the haptic triggers or the adaptive triggers. Uh, mm-hmm. Apologies. Adaptive triggers. This utilizes it in an awesome way. So your left trigger... To, to no you know what normally would be to zoom in a gun or something in a video game mm-hmm. this activates an alt fire mode so there is the regular half so essentially there's two modes to your trigger now right so if you go yeah. halfway you that go is half, your regular shooting yep and then if you go full mm-hmm. that is your, alt. is your alt fire and that is completely different on every almost every gun that you pick up some it's so cool yeah it's very cool and you can feel it because, like, the haptic mm-hmm. triggers, you can feel like it gets so stiff to halfway. And you can feel it where you, where you need to stop. And then if you keep going, that's when you do the it, 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 the aim mm-hmm. uh, radical will change. Yep. Very satisfying, too. Mm-hmm. So far, love the game. So far, I'm in love. I cannot mm-hmm. wait to get back to, so fun. to play it more. I want to finish it. I, w- mm-hmm. I can't I want to see if I can get a good, clean run in from start to, to finish. It, I want to get to, like, the next part because, like... <laughs> Because there's there are bosses in this game, yeah. um, like like uh, there is a uh, it's multi health bar bosses. Yeah, that's where I am stuck at. <laughs> yeah, Alex is, is stuck at the boss. I luckily was able to get through it only with an extra level that you get. Mm-hmm. Sorry, an extra life life that I was able to get. That was yeah, the only the only cool, reason I won that. There's a lot of cool like things that you can do in this game. I want to know the more about the story, which is hilarious because oh, sure. I didn't think I'd care anything about the story. I thought it'd be almost background to the gameplay. I want to mm-hmm. know what's going on. Is it this game weird? Is wild? 
is it is it am i the only one who's actually wondering how she crashed like why is she on fire like did she get shot or we saw lightning a, hit her? we saw a lightning strike hit her yeah it was a lightning strike i didn't mm-hmm. i couldn't see it mm-hmm. it was very quick so i don't i'm not yeah, surprised you very fast it. but it literally because... just goes Ging! and she falls now there is a, a warning for people who like a, like have issues with like fast scenes anytime you die there's a bunch because you said you haven't died a lot the scenes get or like they like they change like anytime you die there there's always a different scene it's really? weird yeah so there's like you'll see like in that scene of, of you dying and coming back to life right there's one little clip of that you kind of see the ship getting shot a hit but then there's also different scenes they're, it, they move so fast that you're like trying to comprehend what's happening, uh-huh. but then some slow down. So you just gotta like pay attention. So, but like hmm. when people can't, if some people can't focus on fast scenes like that, just you know, just you, you'll be okay. Yeah. yeah, close your eyes or yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it because it, 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 it was a lot. It's like, um, was it in control? Like when like it like when it, it, something happens and it blink and it like blinks really fast and it changes to a different scene. Yep. It kind of does. It kind it kind of does that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fast scenes. Alex, that, that's that's really all I have for the game. I, again, I recommend you try it out. Uh, mm-hmm. There's not really a demo, so it, that's unfortunate. You can't really try the game out. But I say if if after listening to this, you're still not completely sold, but you're you want to know more, plenty of different people you can go to. Um, I haven't seen any cr- like ones so far that i would recommend quickly i know the people at kind of funny did a review that's a lot longer so if you want a super deep dive with someone who's already beaten the game you could run mm-hmm. over there uh aside from that i haven't seen too many other reviews that i'd fully recommend going to run because i just haven't seen any mm-hmm. really and i haven't been reading much about the game i just know that they made one and it looked people seem to have loved the video mm-hmm. Yeah, we are going to be doing a spoiler cast. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Full sometime. review as well with yeah, the spoiler yeah, cast. Yeah, like yeah for sure. Yeah, just to, you know, that'll be probably sometime next week. Hopefully we can get through this ne- by next week. I, oh, yeah, hopefully. I, yeah, it, it's a it's a rough game. So I hope mm-hmm. we can get this this time. But this time next Saturday, hopefully we have the spoiler cast up. Mm-hmm. So but it's, def- yeah, it's definitely it. enjoying Like, I'm enjoying this game. We'll give you an update on the next Achievers podcast. So just uh, next Friday... I'll try and uh, remember to put in the beginning of the docket. I'll let you know if we have it ready to go and then we'll go for it. Aside from that, thank you guys so much. Remember, go play some video games this weekend. This was a special kind of like weekend edition of some easy achievers gaming impressions. We love you. Remember. What's that in the sky? It's It's a bird. It's a, is it a plane? No, it's, what? Oh no, it just says go achieve. Mm, go achieve.